Hi everyone, I'm really excited uh, to be here and uh, welcome to my talk about Dapper and Score and how you could improve the uh, developer experience on top of your uh, Kubernetes platform. I'm uh, Mathieu Benoit, I'm Customer Success Engineer at Humanitech and I'm also a Cloud Native Ambassador recognized by the CNCF. Um, I was, and I graduated, and I started my career as software engineer. Um, and I uh, got the opportunity to evolve a bit my career around Kubernetes, DevOps, infrastructure, and security. And um, what excites me the most uh, today around platform engineering is how I could help uh, the person I was in the past, the software engineer, uh, the developer, right? How I could improve uh, the productivity um, on top of uh, Kubernetes platform. So that's uh, all about that for today. And um, I want to start, it's not a deep dive on Dapper, but I want to, um, just to make sure uh, we have the same level of definition of uh, what's Dapper. Dapper is very appealing on a developer standpoint because I could add and embed my uh, Dapper SDK in the programming language of choice my app uh, in order to interact with Dapper API, where I could talk to a database, a message broker, uh, without directly talking to Redis, to Postgres, to Azure Cosmos DB. I will talk to the Dapper API. So I have this level of abstraction and platform engineering behind the scene could change um, the backend, right? They could plug and play the different components uh, again in database, in cluster database, it could be outside in a cloud provider, AWS, Azure, GCP, and it's seamless for me. I won't change anything in my application. So with that, I could just focus on the interaction uh, inbound, outbound of my microservice and microservices. So very appealing um, to improve this developer experience. The second tool we will see today is SCORE. SCORE is a workload specification. And I will be able, as a developer, to focus on the intent to deploy my workload, my containerized workload. So I will define uh, how I want that, and it will be platform agnostic or environment agnostic. And we will see throughout this talk um, with three main demonstration demos, uh, we will see how they integrate uh, to each other and how they are enhancing and improving this abstraction and developer experience, right? And we will see at the end of the talk, uh, this part where we will have the platform engineering more involved and um, a tool such a platform orchestrator like Humanitech, how we could actually deploy this uh, Dapper and Score combined bundle into um, a platform. So what I want to start uh, with is a quick demo with two applications, two workloads. Um, one is a Node.js application, already Dapper SDK embedded, and the other one same, uh, but Python app. And the Python app is generating order to the Node app, and the Node app is serializing order in a Redis Dapper state store, right? It's already uh, Dapper enabled. Um, and now what I want to show you is how I could describe the intent to uh, potentially deploy somewhere these two applications, right? And the first example will be how we could deploy that locally with Docker Compose. And here having this inner loop uh, for a developer perspective, and we will uh, see more, uh, more um, demos around that as well. So let's dive in. Here is a score file. And um, the score file is here again to define how uh, I want to describe um, the potential uh, deployment of my uh, workload. Here, I have a node app, right? Um, and uh, I have an image. It could be uh, locally for a Docker file. Uh, and I have environment variable as well, right? I know how to expose my application. Uh, and maybe I want to expose with a DNS, internal or public. Uh, at this stage, I don't know. but. I want to expose this service uh, potentially. And uh, here, I could also say that I, that I want external dependencies. Here, I'm asking for a Dapper state store. I don't know what is it. 
how to implement the technical detail. I want to be abstracted. And here, I could inject the name of this uh, generic placeholder for the Dapper State Store, right? Uh, that's the first part. And here, I have this uh, annotation, this metadata for um, Dapper uh, to enable Dapper, right? Uh, so that's the first app. The second app is a Python app. More simple, no exposure on the DNS perspective, and uh, no directly talking to Dapper State Store. It will talk to the Node app. So I have a dependencies to another workload, and that's where I could inject uh, this service here in my environment variable. I'm adding some annotation here, and that's it. I just have two score uh, workload definition for my two workload, right? What I want to show you now is how I could actually deploy these two files locally. Right. So what I will run is uh, a command here, and I will uh, while it's running, I will show you here uh, what I'm doing. So here, I'm using a first tool which is Core Compose, and I'm doing an initialization of my uh, workspace locally uh, with Core Compose in it, and I will show you what it generates. Then what I'm doing is based on this core file for the Node app and the Python app. I'm using score compose generate. Here, I want to generate a compose file. I don't want, I don't want, I don't know compose, Docker compose. I don't want to author, edit, manage a compose file. It's an overload. It's too much for me. Uh, but someone is generating that for me. That's this tool, score compose. And I'm also injecting uh, some dapper sidecar and placement locally. Again, I will have some help from the platform engineering, maybe, to provide such uh, scaffolding here. But I don't want to deal with core compo uh, Docker Compose per se, right? I just want to write my two compose uh, score file here, right? And after that, guess what? We do on this compose file, Docker Compose app, right? So that's uh, what uh, was happening here while I was talking. After that, I could do a curl on this node app exposed. Here we could see that um, it's responding. Uh, even if I have an error, uh, this application is not supporting get, but post. And uh, here we have uh, all this application running, uh, the Dapper sidecar, the placement, the node app, the Redis, uh, etc. So let's grab here, uh, actually, this node app application. And we could see that message and order are generated by uh, the Python app on uh, the um, node app, and the node app is talking to Redis, right? So all good, up and running. I could debug and test uh, my container uh, locally, which is good. I could also have this embedded in a CI CD pipeline in order to have more uh, robust quality test, integration test as well, right? Um, so that's the first part. But here you could say, yeah, but where this Redis database uh, is coming from, right? And uh, that's a good question. So here, you remember the score compose in it. It generated uh, this local workspace um, and folder. And that's where I could have um, pre-generated uh, provisioner um, in order to generate the dependencies, the DNS, uh, uh, a Redis database, etc., a MySQL database. And here, I have the help for platform engineering providing me, for example, here, a type dapper state store here. That's very uh, simple. At the end of the day, it's generating, and we made the choice to have a Redis by default dapper state store. It could be replaced by Postgres. You could have option to select which one you want. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's generating um, um, here uh, a container, a Redis database for Docker Compose. And also, it's generating the dapper component, right? bound and linked to this Redis database. With that, the developer is not knowing this technical detail implementation. Should I in inject a password, a host, a port? It's abstracted and generated by the provisioner, right? Because at the end of the day, you remember, they just said in their score file, as a developer, I just want a Dapper state, right? Please help me figure it out. Um, so that's the first part. What now I want to show you is uh, another uh, demonstration and um, usage of the two score file. Now we will deploy this exact same score file in a Kubernetes cluster. 
So here, as a developer, for example, in my inner loop, if I have access to a Kubernetes cluster, I want to deploy this to containerized workload um, in a kind cluster locally or any Kubernetes cluster. Um, or I could embed that in my CI CD pipeline, again, to have more uh, robust quality tests and integration tests. So let's switch back here with the exact same score file, right? I will here run a command and I will explain why it's running. Um, again, I have a make file to accelerate the commands for uh, the demo. Uh, but here, same principle. I'm doing score Kubernetes in it in order to uh, initialize my score Kubernetes workspace locally. And I will show you what it is doing, but same as score compose. And then I'm taking the score for the node app, the score file for the Python app, and I'm doing the generation of them. Right? It's generating Kubernetes manifest that then we could apply very easy, right? Uh, and here I have already a kind cluster uh, provision. Um, so that's how um, I could do that, right? So if I do, um, if I look at what was deployed what, while I was talking, we could see that we have uh, three pods, right? Three deployment, a Redis database. We have also the Python app, the Node app, and we see that a sidecar was injected. I previously um, installed the uh, Dapper operator, and with that, with the annotation, the sidecar was injected, and all everything is running. And if I look at this guy here, I could also see that it's running and working. The Python app talking to Node app, and to a Redis database, right? So um, exact same uh, score file. And again, if I look here at the uh, score communities uh, in it, um, I got um, another provisioner. And here it's specific to Kubernetes, right? So I have a type Dapper state store. We made the choice by default to be a Redis database. It could be a Postgres. You could have option for your developer to select which one if they want, but you could abstract that as well. So we have a stateful set generating here, and we could have this Redis database locally, or uh, in Kubernetes, I mean, um, et cetera, et cetera. And what is interesting as well is you could also generate the Dapper component, right? Again, abstracting from the developer. So that's uh, what you could do here on, on this uh, uh, developer inner loop. Let's move further in the pipe. And now you want to go in production you want to leverage maybe um, an internal developer platform. And here, um, maybe you will have different components to graduate in staging, production, and uh, one of them could be an, uh, a platform orchestrator. Here, I will use Humanitech. There is other out there, but they will be able to take the exact same score file, right, and deploy that in my platform. So here, I will have more of this standardization, abstraction from uh, the platform engineering and the collaboration, actually, right? So what I want to show you here is how, with Humanitech, uh, we could take this exact same, um, exact same uh, score file, right? So that's this diagram here, where the developer will have the same kind of experience with um, the interaction with the platform. So let's go back here. And uh, what I will run here is This command, um, and uh, here, um, yeah, for the purpose of this demo, I accelerated the process here, so I won't go and spend too much time here. But what I'm running here is uh, UCTL score deploy, right? And I'm already, uh, always and still taking the same score file. And what I'm pointing is actually this file here, and I'm pointing to this exact same score file. Right? So I'm deploying this guy, the two score file, in my Humanitech um, uh, platform. Right? And if I look at what was uh, deployed and generated um, in development uh, environment for a specific project, right? I run this command, and I have two workloads here. Right? The Node app, the Python app, they are on a cluster. And I could see that my Node app has a DNS right? and has a state store. In the state store Redis, 
Fine, good. And what I could see is actually the logs, right? I could see that, yes, it's up and running and it's generating and ending the traffic here and talking actually to my Redis database, right? So here I'm in my um, IDP, Internal Developer Platform, which is good. What I could show you as well uh, here is um, some other experience you could have. I'm uh, in the um, VS Code extension um, where I could have some more embedded experience uh, about authoring my, um, my uh, score file, for example. I could have some lint here uh, if I have some issue uh, with availability of this specification. Uh, I could also uh, have some help here uh, to uh, see which um, external dependencies I could use. Can I use Mongo? Mongo D? No, it's not supported by my own organization, right? So I could have some help here, uh, very convenient. Um, once it's deployed, like we saw in um, in uh, Humanitech in this case, what I could actually see is the actual graph, um, resource graph generated by this deployment. And if you look at that, yes, I have a Node app, I have a Python app, and they have all the dependencies, the workload, the root, the DNS, the Redis, the state store, etc., etc. So very convenient. Uh, in order to have this standardization and abstraction from the platform engineering and my platform. And on a developer standpoint, I'm just defining my two workloads and their dependencies. The resolution of that will be uh, generated, automated, and abstracted, right? So that's uh, part uh, of the three demo I wanted to, to show you. We saw uh, the first one, Inner Loop, Docker Compose, Inner Loop with Kubernetes, and the uh, actual IDP platform with the same exact score file, same exact application. On a developer standpoint, it's that simplified, and I'm very happy with this experience, right? Um, so I hope you enjoy this, um, this uh, talk and, uh, and you see this uh, smooth experience uh, and um, the interaction and collaboration between the two tools, Dapper and Score, in order to uh, abstract um, uh, from a developer standpoint as well as standardizing and abstracting from um, a platform engineering perspective, right? So yeah, thank you for your time. Um, and uh, you could uh, scan this code here uh, in order to get access to this blog post uh, with the associated uh, public GitHub repository in order to play by yourself with all this source code. Um, and yeah, thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your PlatformCon uh, 2024. Thank you.